Welcome back to my channel Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Walsing. In this video under the topic Operations Research, I will be explaining the second method which is Game Theory. Short Introduction to Game Theory Game theory was developed by John von Neumann in the 20th century, who is also known as the father of game theory. Game theory is a competitive situation in which two or more parties with conflicting interests operate. Some of the competitive situations seen in day-to-day -day life are students competing against one another in an exam. Chess game. Chess is an example of game theory as both players know the possible moves and the effect of those moves. Rock, paper, scissor game is a hand game originated from China, usually played between two people in which each player simultaneously forms one of the three shapes with an outstretched hand. These shapes are rock, paper and scissors. Market shares and stockholders. By investing in the stock market, you become a player. You have invested your money in a company knowing that you will either make money or lose money, but you don't know what will happen. Candidates campaigning for elections from various parties. Marketing different brands of a commodity. Military battles. These are some of the situations in which game theory is applied. Such competitive situations explained previously is called a game. In all these situations, taking effective decision plays a vital role as one's decision is controlled by the decisions of all the concerned competitors. To give a definition of game theory, game theory deals with the mathematical analysis of some simple competitive situations. This theory does not describe how a game should be played, but only describes the principles and procedures by which strategies should be selected. Let us now learn some very important terminologies. Player. Each participant is called a player. What is a course of action? A set of predetermined rules of the game is called as the course of action. What is a play? In a game, when each player chooses a course of action, then we say that a play of game has resulted. Strategy is a selection of a certain course of action. Then we have pure strategy. If a player decides to play one particular course of action during each play, irrespective of the strategy of the opponent, this is called as a pure strategy. And this is an important question from the examination point of view. The next important definition is mixed strategy. If a player decides to play some or all available courses of action with some pre-assigned probabilities, then it is called as a mixed strategy. Payoff – the gain or loss of playing a game. A payoff matrix – a table showing the outcomes, either the loss or gain of different strategies of the game is called as the payoff matrix. Saddle point. The position in the payoff matrix where maximum of row minima, which is called as the maximin, coincides with the minimum of the column maxima, which is called as minimax, is called as the saddle point. Value of a game. The amount of payoff at the saddle point is called as the value of a game. All these definitions are very important and you will understand them when we solve the problems and most of them are important 1 and 2 markers. Next is a fair game. A game is said to be fair if the value of the game is 0. N person game. A game 
in which n players participate two person game a game in which only two players participate zero sum game a game in which sum of the payoff of the players is zero the last is a two person zero sum game a game involving two players where the gain of one player is equal to the loss of the other is called as a two person zero sum game in such a game the money won is equal to the money lost i will now explain the characteristics of a competitive game which is an important two marker firstly there should be a finite number of players second each player has a finite number of strategies and these strategies need not be the same for each player third each player must know all possible strategies available to another player but will not know which of them will be chosen by the other player fourth a game is said to be played when each participant chooses one of his courses of action the combination of courses of actions leads to a transaction that is a payment to each player and this transaction is called as a payoff the terminologies explained in this game theory video are important one and two markers learn the definitions thoroughly thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where i'll explain the maximin minimax method and solve problems based on it